Ford dropped a little tidbit in a news release this morning. They are going to be unveiling a new Bronco tomorrow. So we're going to talk about that. And also the Ford F-150 Raptor is getting an official debut tomorrow. We don't exactly know what's in there, but we're going to take a look. So stick around. This is going to be an all Ford video today. My name is Eric. I make videos for car and truck enthusiasts. If that's you, slap a like in this video. Please subscribe if you're new. Let's get on with it. So there's actually a few debuts happening here. So the King of Hammers, this is an off-road race. It's happening in Johnson Valley, California. It's actually happening right now. And it's going all the way through Sunday, February the 6th. So before we get into the street going Bronco or the, uh, the publicly available Bronco, we're gonna talk about this Bronco Ultra 4400 unlimited class extreme truck. So this is something that they are also unveiling. In fact, they just unveiled it. And let's take a look at what this is because this is gonna sort of inform where the Bronco is going. Okay, so these are the trucks. This is the Ultra 4400 Unlimited class. And the King of Hammers is a 90 mile course and it is basically a high speed desert race across really difficult terrain. Uh, it is one of the most difficult off-road competitions in the world, actually. So this happens every year. So qualifying is going to be on February 3rd, and that's tomorrow. And we've got a couple different types of vehicles in this. We've got uh, modified stock, and we have these extreme off-road vehicles, which you're looking at here. So what Ford says is that these 4x4 vehicles are modeled after the all-new Bronco two- and four-door production SUVs with a combination of high-speed desert running and rock-crawling agility. Bronco will also have several vehicles on display, including the Bronco R race prototype, which served as the test bed for the production Bronco, and on hand will be the Bronco Sport. Plus, one never-before-seen Bronco model debuts live Wednesday at the King of Hammers. So what could this upcoming Bronco version be that they're gonna reveal tomorrow? And they just dropped this as a one-liner in this press release. So what could this possibly be? Well, we have a couple of possibilities. First, we have a high-performance version of the Bronco that we really know is coming, even though Ford hasn't officially said anything. We know it's coming. We've got these photographs up on screen right now. And we're looking at something that could be called the Warthog. So we're pretty sure that the Raptor name is going to be a reserved exclusive for, exclusively for the F-150 truck. So Warthog seems to be the, the sort of nasty name that Bronco is going with. When I think of Warthog, I think of a really aggressive pig. I know some people are saying that it's from Halo, but honestly, guys, I, I really don't think Ford is going to name their truck after a vehicle from Halo. That's just my personal opinion. What could possibly be powering a future Warthog? So right now we've got the 2.7 liter is the largest engine choice available in the Bronco. And we know that's gonna be making about 310 horsepower. We also know that the 3.5 liter engine is just not gonna fit in the engine bay. I reported on that last year. Of course, Ford is not gonna confirm that, but they've done all the engineering on the truck. They started this engineering a long time ago. The 3.5 liter is probably not gonna fit without making serious modifications to the existing structure. And they haven't even really launched this or released it to the public yet. We, we know it's coming. Hopefully this summer we'll be able to get them, but you know, some people are probably gonna be getting them in the fall or later. So if we're sticking with the 2.7 liter engine, we know that in the Ford Edge ST, it makes 335 horsepower. So that's really only 15 horsepower more than the 310. I think that's not gonna be enough. I think we need to be looking at something a little bit more for this high performance version. This is one of the official photos of the upcoming Warthog, which of course Ford hasn't really confirmed anything related to this vehicle yet. You can see that it does appear to have fender flares. The reports are that it's gonna have a wider track, which makes sense. So it's gonna also be able to support uh, bigger wheels and tires. Um, and it's gonna have apparently more power. So we just talked about the 2.7 liter. A strong possibility I think that will fit is the 3.0 liter EcoBoost engine that is found in the Ford Aviator. There it makes about 400 horsepower and that's significantly higher than the 2.7 making 310 horsepower. The Lincoln Aviator also comes in a hybrid version which makes over 600 pound-feet of torque, 630 pound-feet of torque. That would be pretty cool to see in the Bronco, although 
batteries are gonna add a lot of extra weight. So it's kind of unknown right now if Ford is really gonna come out with a hybrid version of the bigger Bronco, as opposed to the, the Bronco Sport, which I think is a, a better possibility. We already know that there's an issue with the 2.7 liter and a manual transmission in terms of the ability for the transmission to handle torque. So I probably wouldn't expect to see anything but the 10 speed automatic with the upcoming Warthog. There is also a possibility that Ford could debut something called the Heritage Edition, which is mainly an appearance package. Uh, these photos are pretty new here. You can see that it's got uh, these sort of steely style wheels with the, the four holes in them. And not a whole lot is known right now other than the fact that this is probably an appearance package. So this is also a possibility that we could get to. Apparently this has 35 inch wheels on it. Uh, this seems to be the same size tires that the Sasquatch package has. So that's a possibility. Now back in October, Ford debuted these concept Broncos as well. And it's possible that we could get one of these sort of concept vehicles, which basically showcase the aftermarket accessories. I've got the Bronco plus Filson Wildland Fire Rig concept up on screen right now. You can kind of see all these various accessories and you can see the, uh, the paint color that is uh, on here too. Uh, they did a number of different versions of this. Let me know down below in the comments what you think that Ford is going to reveal. Are they going to give us the Warthog? Are they going to give us the Heritage Edition? Are they going to give us one of these concept vehicles or possibly even something else? Let me know your thoughts. Now over at Bronco 6G they have an order tracking system going on. They've tracked about a thousand orders right now. So if you're kind of curious about what type of Broncos people are ordering, we can take a quick look at it right now. So it looks like fairly evenly split, but the Badlands is definitely the most popular trim package, followed by the Wild Track at about 15%, and then the Black Diamond, and so forth. So basically the Wild Track and the Badlands make up about half, a little bit more than half of the entire you know, orders that people have put in for their Bronco so far. In terms of body style, this is a little bit of a surprise to me. We're actually seeing 40% of people ordering the two-door Bronco. Of course, personally, I think it looks a whole lot better. I think it just looks like the real original classic Bronco. A four-door is much more practical. I think mm, I'm probably leaning more towards the four-door myself, but interesting split. I thought it would be closer to 50-50 or I thought even maybe 70% of people would be ordering a four-door. No surprise here in terms of the engine. It looks like most people ordered the EcoBoost about 75. So about three quarters of the people ordered the 2.7 liter EcoBoost is what I meant to say. And about 25% ordered the smaller 2.3 liter. The 2.7 liter EcoBoost that people are ordering, we are seeing some delays in the production of the Bronco. And I'm just gonna put out a little bit of a guess here. And I'm my guess is that it might be, Ford might be having to ramp up production of the 2.7 liter engine. Perhaps their production output isn't as high as they would like. There's actually part shortages, which are really plaguing the entire industry, including electronics right now. So a lot of vehicles are having shutdowns, like the C8 Corvette is having a one week shutdown at their plant in Bowling Green due to the lack of available electronics, ECUs and so forth. So Ford isn't the only one that's affected, certainly not General Motors, a lot of manufacturers are being affected by electronic shortages right now. So I think that's probably why we're seeing some delays in the Bronco. Tomorrow, which is February 3rd, we have the reveal of the brand new Ford F-150 Raptor. Now you can't really see much in this teaser video that Ford dropped on Twitter. In fact, there's two of them. Uh, this one that we're looking at here looks like, you know, possibly Johnson Valley, California. Then we have this video, which could even be a 3D render. I like the uh, the headlights that we got over here. First, if we zoom in on this super blurry video here, we can see the front end. It looks quite aggressive. We've got some pretty interesting lights here too. We've got these three different LEDs right in the middle of the hood. And then we have this sort of, I guess, a C-shaped LED around the headlights. Pretty difficult to see from this video exactly what we're gonna get. A little while ago, TFL now captured this image of what definitely looks to be the Ford Raptor on the highway somewhere around Denver. You can see we have dual exhaust. We've got some fairly aggressive looking tires. We've got a Raptor symbol, a logo uh, right on the right side below the Ford emblem. 
and not a whole lot more that we can tell from this. Now, Ford has some competition. As you're probably aware, the Dodge Ram TRX was unveiled recently, and in fact, it is now in production. Some people are getting them into their hands. Some YouTubers are actually setting them on fire. I don't know what to think about that. It's probably good for a lot of views, but significantly, the TRX has a very special engine. It has the Hellcat engine. Now that is a 6.2 liter supercharged engine making 702 horsepower in the TRX and 650 horsepower. It is probably the world's fastest production truck. I'm not talking SUV. I think in terms of trucks, zero to 60, about four and a half seconds, quarter mile, 12.9 seconds. This is super fast for a truck. So Ford has got a response. Ford knows what's going on with this. They've seen it. They're going to have some type of response. So let's talk about what the responses to the TRX could be with the Raptor. Currently, the F-150 Raptor makes 450 horsepower. It's the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Before that, the Raptor had a V8, and now we've got the TRX with the V8. So I think, I'm thinking they're going to have to come forward with a V8. Currently, we get the Ford EcoBoost, the 3.5 liter, making 450 horsepower, a fair bit of torque as well. It certainly doesn't sound anywhere near as good as the V8, but actually surpasses the previous generation V8 in terms of power. So one strong possibility is that they take the existing 3.5 liter and they upgrade it. And maybe we're going to be looking at something like 500 to 550 horsepower. I think that is definitely a very strong possibility. It's an engine that Ford has been using for a while. They know how to make power out of it. Now there's been rumors of a V8 floating around. It seems like the the rumor mill is not particularly settled on what Ford is going to make available right now. Now we know that the existing, just in terms of suspension really quickly, we know that the existing Raptor has a solid rear axle. Looks like we're going to get independent suspension all the way around. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the adaptive Fox shocks or some variation thereof once again. Very, very good shocks. They're used by a couple different manufacturers, including Ford for uh, really sort of adaptive off-road prowess. The Raptor is obviously geared for more high-speed running as opposed to sort of rock crawling capabilities. I think the rock crawling is going to be more on the Bronco side. But what's really interesting is that it looks like there is a V8 version that Ford at least has been testing. I'm going to show you that in just a second. This is from Ford Authority. This is uh, January 14th, so just about two weeks ago. V8 powered 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor spied making intoxicating noises. We're going to listen to those in a second. So Ford Authority says they have actually seen two of these vehicles out testing so far. Uh, they say they've now spied another Ford F-150 Raptor prototype, and this time its deep-toned soundtrack is on full display. The short clip demonstrates there is no 3.5-liter EcoBoost under the hood, but something much more sinister. And all the way back in 2019, Ford Authority exclusively reported that the next-gen Ford F-150 Raptor would be making a return to V8 power. So the previous generation Raptor, much beloved, my friend has one actually, it's a great vehicle, comes with a badass V8. So here we've got the TRX that's just been released. We've got the older version of the F-150 Raptor with a V8. What do we think is going to happen? So Ford Authority says we are going to get a V8. Let's listen to it. The driver of this vehicle obviously spotted the cameraman. He was not on it. That was very, very light throttle. But I think that is an unmistakable V8 sound that definitely doesn't sound like an EcoBoost engine to me at all. So we know from this that Ford is definitely out testing the V8. And what kind of V8 is there going to be? We've got a couple of possibilities. Now the Predator engine is in the Mustang or the Shelby Mustang GT500. Predator engine is a 5.2 liter monster. I have driven the GT500 on track. Thank you very much, Ford. Great event. It's an incredible engine. 
I don't think that we're going to get the full 760 horsepower here. I think we're going to get something that is a little bit detuned. They're probably going to have to make some... First off, they want the, the GT500 to have the most powerful engine. And there's probably also just some differences in packaging where they might have to detune it slightly. So are we going to get something in the range of, let's say, 700 to 740 horsepower, for example? possibility. That is what Ford Authority is claiming. We're going to get the Predator engine. Now we could also get some type of potentially a hybrid. I think that's less likely, but we do have the 3.0 engine, the 3 liter aviator engine and the Lincoln Aviator. It comes in a version that has 494 horsepower and 630 pound-feet of torque in a hybrid. So that isn't quite ready to go head to head with the TRX and it's gonna have a little bit more weight because of the batteries, it's a possibility. Also, we could get a new 3.5 liter or an updated 3.5 liter rather making in the range of say 500 to 550 horsepower. So we've got a couple of possibilities here. Here's my bet. I think we're gonna get the 3.5 liter gonna be somehow updated, gonna be perhaps hybrid, probably not and we're gonna be getting something, that'll be the base version of the engine. Then I think we're gonna get something called a Raptor R with potentially this Predator engine. Let's talk about pricing. So the current 2020 F-150 Raptor starts at about $53,500 roughly. I think we're gonna see obviously an increase of at least $1,500, maybe $2,000, something like that. So we're gonna be talking about $55,000 to start. As you know, right now most dealers have been charging about $70,000 for your average Raptor the way they option it out, sometimes with dealer markup. Now a Raptor R, we can only speculate what the entry level price of that would be. I'm thinking probably in the 60s, probably in the high 60s, I'm guessing like a $15,000 premium. So maybe we'll see something as high as $70,000, $70,000. Let me know down below what you think the pricing of this is going to be. I'm posting about three videos a week right now on all kinds of news. I'm also doing car reviews as well. Please go ahead and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, slap a like in this video and I will see you very soon.